it's time to hear why we only have one Razor 170 versus the two originally bought. It is track prep day and Brent should be pulling up any minute now. I'm going to start loading the hay that we got for some safety barriers and we'll get into the details of why the second Razor 170 isn't here anymore. Here's a hint, something cracked that wasn't supposed to crack and then I've personally never seen crack on something with this amount of horsepower. What's crazy is the horsepower levels are still factory levels. As I'm visiting someone back at camp, one of the boys run up worried he broke something on his Razor 170. Hey bud, what's left to do? I gotta finish loading this hay and then we also gotta get a pit area mode out there. Do you know where you wanna put it? No, I was waiting for you to show up for us to talk about it, see where you wanted it. Well, let's go take a look. All right. My kid is overreacting because it's probably just a broke spring on the chain tensioner. I tell him to drive it over to the trailer where I can fix it. Well, I got some stakes and some caution tape for us to put out. I wanted to make sure no kid cuts the corners. Not sure what kids you're gonna get, but I'm not gonna be able to do that. Have you thought about uh, dragging, dragging the track any? With what, a kid? <laughs> <laughs> no, I got a couple semi tires that we've got chained together that we use to level the dirt out. Oh, are you talking about getting rid of the ruts that are already out there? Yeah, where these got some of these corners that are rutted up pretty heavy, we can drag them, clean that up, and maybe they can hit these corners a little harder without nailing them ruts. No, I haven't thought about that. I'm down for that. All right, well, what I can do is go home and grab those tires while you're putting the stakes up. Sounds good. <laughs> I could tell from the sounds when they drove up, there was no repair in this thing. Apparently a girl Kay just met was riding with them and a big rock was involved. The result was a cracked transmission case and a bent frame. <laughs> I'll never understand how in the hell he cracked the transmission case on a Razor 170, but I'm just thankful they're both okay. Now ever since that incident, the boys have had to share the remaining Razor 170, which has only increased the smack talking because it's the same weight, same power, and the only separation is the driver skills. <laughs> so smack talking is an all time high. <laughs> Thank you.